So I thought I should try my hand at a knife making video. Especially since this knife will be for a family who makes uh, some of the best videos on YouTube, in my opinion. Uh, the most important to me, anyway. Most uh, inspirational and influential. So I've just gotten my delivery. Uh, I'm going to be kind of under a crunch for time here. It's uh, early August and I have to have this knife done by uh, the second week of September. I'm going to do my best to get that all straightened out. Uh, the knife making isn't really the hard part. Uh, the, uh, the question is going to be whether or not I can get this back from the heat treater in time. Uh, so of course the process is to uh, shape the knife, send it off, have it treated and tested, receive it back, and then finish the assembly and final grinds and inspection. To grind the initial shape of the knife, I'll generally use a one millimeter grinding disc. To round some of the edges, I'll use a flap wheel. And I do my best to keep it as cool as possible, although these aren't heat treated yet. Uh, so as long as you're not glowing cherry red or putting any uh, burn marks into it, you're in pretty good shape. The vise I use for this just kind of floats around my workbench because I turn it so many different directions and I really don't have uh, a whole lot of maneuverability when I bolt it down. My primary grinder is a Kalamazoo 1SM. I give this thing a lot of grief, but it really does a pretty darn good job. It's uh, very affordable. I think you can pick these up for under $300. They really are a uh, pretty good little workhorse. Right here I'm running some uh, 36 grit on the, uh, on the edge of this blade, and it, it, you can see it, it really just eats up that steel. It doesn't bog down. Not bad for a third horsepower motor. Yeah, 36 grit is pretty aggressive. Uh, if you touch your thumb to that at 1750 RPM, you're going to be missing quite a lot of skin and oftentimes some fingernail. Here I'm attaching the platen for running some flat surfaces. And something that I found uh, that works really well for me are stacks of leather uh, on top of the platen surface, just adhered with some uh, contact cement. It's pretty easy to change it out and it's fairly forgiving. Some fireplace glass is of course the preferred material. This, uh, this really works very, very well and it, uh, it's not aggressive on the sandpaper backing. So I'm not big on buying new tools, but this uh, oscillating spindle sander has really helped me out. Prior to 
buying this, I was using a spindle sander attachment on my drill press. I didn't care for it as uh, my work surface wasn't large enough and the uh, shaft on the spindle would flex as I would uh, push it against the press. This is uh, much more sturdy and it's got quite a few attachments, uh, a lot of size attachments that are very quick to interchange. this all in one video. This will be a multi-part series.